cloud. What are the opportunities? What are the challenges? But also, how can you scale with cloud? And what kind of new technologies do we see? And how can it help with sustainability? I'm here with Darren Hartman. You're the general manager and vice president, UK and Ireland, here at AWS Summit in London. And I'm really pleased to be in real life, meeting people <laughs> again. That's great. And you were on stage today yeah. and you were discussing the possibilities, the challenges, and also the, let's say, the, the opportunities with cloud. Can you share what you've shared on stage as well? First of all, I agree with you. How fantastic to have you know, 13,000 of our closest friends together again at an AWS um, summit like this. It's just fantastic. And so there's so much energy out there. We're overlooking here the main hall and it's, you can just see you know, people engaging with our ISV partners, with our GSI and national partners, talking about you know, how they change and transform. And that's kind of the, the topic this morning. The pandemic created a lot of challenges. And you know, we saw a lot of customers with headwinds, but also with tailwinds. Some that had to scale down, some that had to scale up. But one thing that was definitely in all of those customers was the need to do something different quickly in the face of a, of a new challenge that was, that was unknown and was coming from around the corner. And so we saw cloud really kind of lean in from an ability to be agile, to scale, to experiment, and to quickly, in days rather than weeks and months, put out new functionality, new solutions to solve a new set of problems that, they, that a lot of our customers hadn't considered before the pandemic. And so that um, has really created a, um, a real kind of uh, momentum and um, demand from a cloud perspective. And so um, what we're trying to do is, is help those disruptive kind of cloud native organizations scale as fast as they can, but also more traditional enterprises who have frankly inspired themselves with what they can do with the cloud during the pandemic. How do they continue those new ways of working, that new way of serving customer needs and deploying that on a continual basis? How do they continue to reinvent themselves? Yeah, you were mentioning it already, scaling, scaling and growing. Once you have a cloud platform, it's a yeah, tremendous opportunity to further scale. Can you elaborate on this? How users um, of cloud can do this? And what are the benefits of that? Yeah, so a good example is, um, you know, one of the major retailers here in the UK is, is Morrison's. And so they've been on a cloud journey uh, for a while. But when the pandemic hit and all the call centers um, had to stop because you couldn't physically go into a call center. And at the same time, a whole new challenge was, was presented because of this massive uptake in demand on online shopping. You know, they deployed and scaled out a, an Amazon Connect call center solution that could keep pace with that new demand, scale up and scale down depending on those needs and solve a variety of really unique problems. Like how do you target and service the most vulnerable customers first with online shopping when the whole world is trying to get a slot in online shopping. And so to be able to build that new capability, roll it out and scale it really quickly was, was really impressive. And another retailer in the UK, Waitrose, who literally doubled overnight the number of online orders they had, you can only do that by leveraging the cloud. And one other theme on the agenda of C-level executives, but basically I think on everybody's agenda is sustainability, mm. reducing the CO2 emissions. What's the role of cloud in reducing this? Well, we really think the cloud has a, a, a real uh, opportunity to you know, allow customers to you know, take control of their, their carbon footprint in the context of the, the IT that they, they provision, they use in, in every day. And why is that? You know, we, we've, we've got a lot of data points now, but just recently we had a research study to show that the, the use of the AWS cloud is five times more energy efficient than your typical European data center. And so that's a real kind of low-hanging through, short to, to medium term for organizations to deploy and move to the cloud and get the benefits of, of, of that efficiency. And you know, we're on a path to, um, to powering all our operations uh, in Amazon uh, by 2030. We're actually five years ahead of that in terms of our climate pledge uh, to deliver 100% uh, of our operations delivered by renewable energy. We have um, five major renewable energy programs here in the UK to serve our UK data centers. One of them went on stream in October and the rest are coming shortly. And so, you know, with that, that's a kind of real kind of powerful enabler for our customers to drive their own ambitions. And 
We're actually now globally, Amazon are the world's biggest corporate purchaser of renewable energy. Yeah, and then one main topic, I think, what is the future, the future of new technologies? What can we expect with regards to new technologies in the coming time? You know, one exciting example we saw on stage this morning, um, which, which I was absolutely delighted was part of my uh, keynote presentation, was, uh, was the used car retailer Kazoo. Founded the uh, December 2018, first technicians hired in, in early 2019. And this is an organization that has used serverless, leaning into AWS to say, you know, you, you, you run our IT, you manage our IT, we will focus on the core competence of our business and, and how we align our technicians to drive technology solutions out to our customers as fast as possible. And so they did this, built their first website in 90 days, and this is an organization that has transformed an industry. We talk about disruptive plays, but they have transformed the used car industry uh, in the UK and um, continue to go from strength to strength in terms of their, their growth in people, zero to nearly 500 you know, technical uh, resources in their team over the last um, you know, three years. And you know, the size and, and scale of their business is, is evident of the power of, of, of leaning into the cloud, scaling quickly, keeping hold of that first mover advantage and focusing on your customer. Yeah, great example of showing all the steps from the challenges, the opportunities, the scaling, just in one example and going live in 90 days. That's, that's great. Darren, thanks a lot for sharing this great event, the great keynote, and uh, it's great to be live again here at AWS in London. Thank you. Thank you.